All right, it looks like Behringer Music Tribe just announced or just released the Wing Edit program, and it's available for Linux, Mac, PC, and Raspberry Pi, which is pretty cool. So I think a lot of people are going to be pleased with that. And I don't have the console anymore. I sent it back to Music Tribe after having it on loan for a little over a year. But we can run up the software here and see what they've done. And uh, if you've got any questions about it, uh, maybe this will help answer them. I'm at home again, uh, a little bit under the weather, but I uh, thought this would be a good video to put together today real quickly. So excuse my voice again. I'm a little bit uh, congested, but I think we'll make it through. So let's spin it up and see what they've given us to work with. So right on the top, we can see 16 channels, which is nice. I don't know how that will look on a touchscreen or a tablet device, but for Mac, this looks really nice so far. Spread it out, page through. You can look at all one through 40. Scrolling, ooh, side to side scrolling on a magic trackpad raises the level. Let's see. Okay, so once you're over the bar, that does work. That's cool. And then I'm assuming we're just going to have all the same wing modules that we would have if we were looking at the wing itself in person. And that does seem to be the case. And there is a new firmware that they released with this that you do need to download and update your wing in order for this to work. But otherwise, this should pretty much look like the wing does. Um, so yeah, you get the individual channel view, the mix view of all the channels in this bank are effects, racks, premium, and standard. If you're not familiar with those, there's all sorts of cool things you can put in from uh, effects like reverbs, things you would think traditionally as effects, um, and then also EQs and DSers and all that kind of stuff as well over here. So. Uh, a lot to do in this rack. There's a lot of nice features there. Uh, the routing looks exactly like it does on the console. Um, you can choose, we gotta unlock it first, and then you can choose what channel and where you want to source that channel from. Normally the Dante card would show up here as well if you had that installed, which I did on the demo board, and that was really handy. This was Honestly, a really nice mixer to use other than the size. That's my biggest complaint about the wing. And I'm sure this piece of software coming out is going to get the Facebook groups going uh, with people requesting a wing rack version. And as ridiculous as I usually find the bandwagon requests um, to be, this one's actually pretty relevant because like the X32 rack, in my opinion, is the best X32 uh, version to own. Now, if you're a club or if you're installing one, of course, the, you know, the version with the faders on, it's probably a lot more useful, but as a utility tool that you'll actually be able to take out and get a lot of use out of without like breaking your back or having to, you know, bring a cart and a van to haul it around in, uh, the X32 rack is incredibly useful. And I've seen some pretty big players, like some really, really, uh, qualified, I'll say, I won't uh, say any names, but some people that, that do some pretty serious work in the industry, I've seen them show up with an X32 rack, uh, either as their backup or as a little utility mixer for certain broadcasts or different gigs where we just needed something uh, to do a little more processing or EQing or whatever it was. Uh, and they're very useful. And if there was a wing rack uh, that did everything the wing did, but in something that I could carry around easily. I think that would absolutely find an audience with a lot of sound contractors where the regular wing, I just can't justify taking it out. It weighs an absolute ton, in my opinion, for an individual or for a freelancer or for somebody bringing a mixer. Um, it's a big one. So yeah, everything here looks like it should. Got all of our normal stuff for IP and control and finding the console. Normally you'd see it pop up here and then you can choose which way you want to synchronize this 
And this would be a huge help, obviously, for anybody that's experiencing uh, the dead screen still that hasn't had a chance to get that repaired for whatever reason. I know a lot of folks weren't super impressed when they released the uh, mouse control, so you could use a mouse with the wing, but that did definitely fix, uh, not fix, but it made the console usable for many people that were having issues. So I'm sure if there's anybody left out there that hasn't got that screen repaired from the original batch, this will be a welcome uh, addition to your arsenal. And just trying to click around and see what else things do. And at the time of filming right now, there are folks having slightly mixed experiences. It seems like everybody's having a good time with this, but I wouldn't run out and update any firmware and start using this on a show today. Test it a little bit first before you take it out and put it into production, just to make sure it all works on your mixer with your computers. Oh, cool. So we can resize. That's smart. I like the way they do that on these because it just saves a lot of time from like trying to resize it manually but yeah for the most part this is pretty straightforward i don't know if they've really changed a whole lot that i can see um, compared to using the wing it's been a few months i shipped the wing back a couple months ago so i haven't been using it daily so th this looks pretty close to what the wing uh software on running on the console looks and feels like honestly Let's see, uh, the only other thing, okay, here we go, load and save. So yeah, you can save snapshots. So I can initialize the console, I can reinitialize everything. Interesting, and then you could like save all these. I like that you can click once and drag. So this software is definitely a little more robust than some I've looked at recently on their first attempt. But yeah, so you can reinitialize here. And then I guess I would suggest just saving. Um, so if I initialize all, initialize, yeah, so that resets everything. And then I would probably save uh, save uh, initial data. Save that as show two. Save. So now I'm gonna load. I'm gonna go back to initial data. Open that. That clears. Leaves a solo soloed, but clears the presets. Now I'm gonna load. Show two. Okay, that worked. But yeah, so you can save and load snapshots. So that will be a huge help to everyone, I'm sure. Let me know in the comments what features you were hoping to see uh, that maybe they didn't include or uh, what you think of this, because this looks great, especially for a first release. Great to see them still developing stuff for the wing. So hopefully this was a useful look. You can download this yourself, again, for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Raspberry Pi, which is really cool. You could have a little pie sitting in the back of your uh doghouse in the mixer case there and run this just from that. And that'd be really awesome. So hopefully that was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.